you're going to be new here. My name is Jess. Let's just take a moment for my different setup. I know it's going to kind of throw people off, but my husband did buy me a chair for my office, and if you follow me anywhere else on social media, you will know that I've been looking for one. Um, normally, I sit on this really shitty plastic chair, which is still my desk chair. I'm still on the hunt for a good computer chair because if you make YouTube videos, you know editing takes for fucking ever. Or at least for me it does, and I can't sit on my couch and edit because there are too many distractions so I do do all my editing in my office, but I needed a comfy chair to read because I am allergic to my cats, so I needed a chair, a big comfy chair for my office that is a separate space from my cats so that when I do read, I don't have cats on my lap, I'm not sneezing, my eyes aren't watery, I can actually enjoy what I am doing, which is also why if you've been following me for a while you will know that most of the reading that I get done is actually at work, which I'm fortunate enough to have a job where if we are slow and we have downtime we can do pretty much what we'd like as long as we are still doing our job, still available to do our job. So sorry if this new setup is throwing you off a little bit. I'm trying to figure out how to film exactly because the back of my chair, because it is a recliner, it's like a straight up lazy boy essentially, um, it's a bit big. So uh, if it looks a little weird, I'm sorry, but I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Also if you notice, a little bit of blank shelving space in here. It is because I actually downsized my shelves. I kind of condensed everything together. I did put out all my books and then the knickknacks in front of it. So everything's a little bit more condensed, so a lot of background changes. I'm really sorry about that. But getting into today's video, today is Top 5 Wednesday, and I'm such a fan of Top 5 Wednesday. I think that it's very nice to have like a prompt every week on something. And today's prompt is problematic characters that you're not supposed to love, but you do. And this was actually kind of hard for me because when I think of problematic characters, I don't tend to shy away from liking them. A lot of my favorite characters are like the villains, the anti-heroes, those are my favorite and I'm pretty vocal about them. So this was kind of difficult, but obviously I was able to come up with a few. This is not necessarily my opinion on finding them problematic, but these are characters that I thought most people would find problematic or that I know aren't necessarily the best characters to love, but I still love them anyway. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get started because look, there's five of them uh, and I have quite a bit of information on all of them. So the first one I have to mention, of course I have to mention, would be the Darkling. Darkling is in no way a good character. Um, people who like to defend him and say that, oh, he is a good character, he is not. He is an asshole. He does a lot of really cruel things in these books. Um, he is an absolutely terrible character. He's a terrible human being. However, I adore him. He is one of my most favorite villains in a story ever. I just absolutely loved him. I thought that he was the, the character development and just who he was and the twists and turns in these books with him. He's definitely one of my top five favorite villains in a book ever. Now this next one may come as a shock to a lot of people, but honestly, I find this character so problematic. And it is Selena from Throne of Glass. I like her as a character. I think that the books would not be who they are without her. However, she is not a nice person. She is not a good character. Um, you know, this may not come as a shock to some people if they kind of see her the way that I do, but she's just not one of those characters that you can look up to and be like, yes, I want to be like her. She is an assassin. She has killed people. A lot of really messed up things happen in these books. So I would definitely say that she is the most problematic character that I can think of where I can genuinely be like, yeah, she's not a good person. She's definitely problematic. So definitely Selena. Another one of my most favorite problematic characters would be Captain Lefteren from the Rainwild Chronicles by Robin Hobb. I spoke about these books a lot on my channel, but honestly, they're just really fantastic. Um, he is a captain of the ship that our main character at least takes to actually bring the dragons back to the home that they are from. However, when you first meet him, he is a very shady character. You do realize that the ship that he is controlling is not in regulation, I guess you could say. I don't know what you would say in their terms, but he takes a dragon ship, which he is not supposed to be doing. He's actually very cruel and rude to our main character when he first meets her. He kind of looks at her as like a baby in a sense. Um, they do sort of have a budding romance later, but in the first couple of books from this series, because it is a four-part series, he's definitely my least favorite character for a while. Um, he is just really cruel, really cold, not very the best. He's just really not the best character. He's not the best human, so he's definitely on my list for top five favorite problematic characters. Now this one's a little bit weird and kind of hard to describe, but I would say the interviewer from Sleeping Giants is one of my most favorite problematic characters because he is a manipulative douchebag the entire time. He literally is just there to interview people and see, you know, what their thoughts are on everything, how they're doing. He manipulates them into doing what he wants them to do. He's very secretive. You don't really know who he works for, what you know, kind of organization he is working for, things like that. I absolutely love him as a character though. There's a lot more development on him in the second book, but this is obviously where we meet him in the first one. I adored this book. If you haven't read it, I would recommend it. This is my most underrated series from 2017 so far. I really, really liked it, and he has definitely one of my become one of my most favorite problematic characters from a book. 
just because I think it's really interesting to read about how like manipulative he is and how he's able to get people to do what he wants to do and you don't really know how he's able to do that either he just has a certain pull with people so definitely him as well and he doesn't really have a name in this so I'm just gonna say the interviewer and I have spoken about this character before on my channel and how much I absolutely adore her and it would be Sira from Carve the Mark. I relate to Sira so so much and obviously there was a lot of controversy surrounding this book when it first came out. I don't necessarily understand why anymore. There are a lot of videos you can google them or you can look for them on YouTube that kind of describe why it is debunked on whether or not this is actually problematic but she is definitely sort of a problematic character. She likes to she kind of likes to bully people into doing what she wants. She's not like the best at going about what she wants to have done. She is very manipulative. She is a very, very cruel character at certain points. Um, it's obviously the world that she has grown up in. But I absolutely adore Sierra, and she is probably on my top. She's my favorite character of all time, my favorite female character of all time from a book. And this book rates very, very high for me. And also, she's just a great problematic character that I can't help but love and most people would probably condemn me for. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Once again, I'm sorry for the background change. I know when I moved, it was like a big deal, and now I'm, I've changed things around again. But I just want to be comfortable when I film. So I hope you guys are having a good week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!